Breaking news. Ogun Senator Mogs Tenubu over Naira redesign and asks Nigerian students to reject APC to avoid more strike. Of course, he's saying this truth. After all, Tenubu said he's going to continue from where Buhari stopped. And you know where Buhari stopped now. Funny enough, Tenubu will campaign and tell Nigerians, if you are a student, you will graduate from school for four years. You will not stay in school again for eight years. Now, which party do that? In? You did there the campaign against your party. So that means you are just telling us that, see, my party is not good. And it takes a wise man to understand. We cannot help you. Just find your way. You understand? According to him, he said the student must be wise not to go for another eight month uh, strike like that of last year. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. May God Almighty prosper you all. Amen. The chairman, the Senate Committee on Customs, Senator Francis Fadal Nesi, has asked Nigerian students to reject the All Progressive Congress APC in this month's general elections. According to him, the students must be wise not to go for another eight-month strike like that of last year. The senator, in a statement by his media team, also mocked the Bola Tinubu, the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, over the Central Bank of Nigeria's new Naira and cashless policies that have subjected the masses to pains. The Supreme Court had Wednesday in suit brought before it by the government of Zamfara, Kogi and Kano Kaduna State gave an interim injunction against the CBN and the federal government to allow old 200, the 500 and 1,000 Naira to remain legal tender beyond the, Febu the February 10th deadline until the case is fully disposed. Reacting, Fadeyesi hailed the Supreme Court for saving the Nigerian masses and the, the democracy. He, however, said Tinubu was silent over the issue, thinking the deci decision will favor his presidential ambition. The statement read, Senator Fadeyesi described the decision of Supreme Court as succor on hardship for the masses. Fedeyesi, who represents Ugul East Senatorial District, opined that the law for the currency swap was done without considering the hardship of the masses and its detrimental effects on development. The federal lawmaker said, any decision that puts the common man in suffering must be bound since the policy is not bringing relief to the people. I told my fellow members, at the National Assembly before we went on vacation, that currency swap knew no level with masses greatly suffering to get cash. We, the higher class, are stuck to get cash, meaning the decision is to suffer candidates and voters ahead of the forthcoming election. You can't go to cashless economy without educating people. Since we are a democratic country, where foundational policies must be properly addressed before far-fetching. This development will teach federal government lesson to deal with commoners in, in polity way. The Supreme Court ruling is a great development for common man and must continue to stand with our decisions without sabotage. He described the fray and cash scarcity as bad uh, occurrence, bad occurrence, never experienced by Nigerians, which has affected the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidates, candidates Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who thinks his decision, prior to implementation, will favor his presidential ambition. Fadeyesi admonished electorate to vote for Atiku Abubakar and other People's Democratic Party PDP candidates in the forthcoming February 25th polls for economic revival. 
He said the PDP is committed to bring poverty to an end for the masses and also end hunger while ushering a season of a numerous prosperity for all and sundry. Nigerians has been deceived in the last seven years of the APC-led administration, bringing hardship without remedy. People's Democratic Party, PDP, is on verge to win elections in any senatorial district, likewise other parts of the country. Our people must send APC packing in Nigeria by voting them out. In fact, Nigerian students must be wise, not wanting to go for another eight-month strike like that of last year to vote out the Broom Party, he said. Okay. Tinubu himself spoke against the scarcity of new Nera notes, not redesign, but you, your article and PDP said people should manage suffering because you have enough at home. Kudos to Tinubu for speaking against the scarcity and unnecessary suffering of masses. Who will vote APC again in this country unless the person is suffering from mental deranged? This one of the so-called or claimed educated Yorubas who want to remain a pen in the hands of illiterates. illiterates. We still have millions of foolish people who are still ready to suffer, all in the name of party, religion, and ethnicity. If you like, don't vote wisely. In fact, I will stop showing love to adults above 18 years if OB does not win. This senator is trying to contribute to the Nigerian's problem. Go with George Uto. <laughs> when a senator lacks technical, technical know how is bound to vomit rubbish, Tinubu did not kick against Naira redesign. When you designed Naira and the new Naira is, is short in supply, what do you think we, we multiply effects on the ordinary Nigerians? We all have some, we have seen the negative effect on ordinary citizens. I have not seen any difference between the judgment of the Supreme Court and decision of the Federal Executive Council. It is just a reframing of the Supreme Court's judgment. The bottom line is that the old Naira notes are still legal tender. So what is the difference? Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section please